Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn about abstraction in JavaScript. So we know in object oriented programming there are four basic concepts encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism and abstraction. We have already learned about the earlier three in the earlier lessons and today we will focus on abstraction and we will also see a practical example so that it makes it very easy for you to understand this concept. So abstraction in a very simple words is hiding the implementation and showing only the functionalities or only the essential details to the user. Let us take an example of this microwave. So whenever you press any button on this microwave, there is a lot of things happening at the back end. There are some programs that get executed, some calculations which are made. However, you do not need as a user, you do not need to know about all those implementations or details. You just need to press a button and you should get an output which is easy for you to understand. In the same way, we have abstraction. So abstra abstraction is exactly what is this example is all about. That is hide the implementation and details and show only the essential things and this is what abstraction is hide details and show only the essentials so this is a way of hiding the implementation now let us take an example if i go to my visual studio code i will create a new file here i will say this is abstraction.js and here i will create a code let us say i create a function i will say function employee and here this is a function employee and in this function I will take name age and base salary for the employee and I will say this dot name equals name this dot age equals age this dot base salary equals base salary so i have actually created a constructor here and you can see this is how we can create a constructor and i have already told you in the earlier sessions that in javascript you can create a constructor even without creating a class so now i have created this and here i can say in this function i can also say i will create another function to get employee details i will say get employee details and this will be equal to a function where I will print out I will say console.log and I will say name will be equal to this dot name and I will say age will be equals to this dot age so here I have created this function now if I create an object for this function let us say I say let emp1 equals new employee and I will pass the name age and base salary so I will say John age is 30 and let us say base salary is 2000 and now using this object emp1 I can call the get employee details function so now if I run this program here let me just check uh, yes this should be plus here and I will save and run this again and yes this is giving me name John and age 30 and this is calling this function which is fine now let us say I have to calculate a final salary based on the base salary and let us say final salary is a sum of base salary and plus some monthly bonus so this can change every month there will be some monthly bonus and this will calculate the final salary so for this I should be having another variable called monthly bonus and let me make it equivalent equal to 1000 and then I should having I should be having a function which will calculate the final salary so let us say I will have another function called calculate final salary and I will say this is this is a function and in this function I will say let final salary equals to this dot base salary plus this dot monthly bonus and then I will print out final salary is and I will just print out the final salary which is calculated so now if I also call this function from the object reference I will say 
calculate final salary and if I run this program again here you can see it says final salary is 3000 which is a sum of the base salary which is 2000 and it adds a monthly bonus 1000 and therefore we are able to get the final salary now this looks okay however there is a problem this function which is calculate final salary should not be exposed this should be internal the user should only be able to give it the base salary and it should get the final salary we should not be able to expose or we should not be able to access this from outside or from a user in fact monthly bonus should also be internal so what can happen now is any user can also change the monthly bonus so I can say monthly bonus equals to let us say 10,000 and if I run this now you can see the final salary is coming out to be 12,000 so this should not be accessible so to make this inaccessible from outside I can actually make this private or make this as a functional variable so instead of this I can say let monthly bonus thousand so now this is a function variable and the scope of this variable is only within this function as we go out of this function it this variable is out of scope so now I cannot access it or the user cannot this monthly bonus from outside like this so this I have done also I will say here calculate final salary again I will make it as this function which is available only within this employee function and its scope is not outside I cannot access it from outside so now if I run this program as it is let us see the output you can see I am getting an error here calculate final salary is now not accessible outside the function so I cannot do like this so I have to remove this and if I run this now I'm able to get name and age but what about final salary I should also be able to get this so now I can call this function within another function get employee details I will say calculate final salary and here I will say it like this I do not need to use the variables I can just say base salary and monthly salary and this should give me the final salary so if I run this now you can see I'm able to get the final salary just from calling get employee details this internally calls this function and this function does the calculation this is now not exposed to the user and this is an example of abstraction which is we are only providing the details or exposing the details or functionality which is needed by the user and all the other implementation is hidden from the user and this hides details which are uh, not required and only shows what is required and this also helps in maintaining the code so for example if there is some changes here the monthly bonus increases or decreases I will just go here and make the changes even if the computation part of the salary there is any change in the logic I just have to make the changes here the user need not know what are the changes he will only get call the get employee details with a base salary and he will get the output so this is how we can achieve abstraction so I will suggest that you look at some more examples of abstraction and do some more hands-on and this will be very clear and I will meet you in the next session of JavaScript thank you for watching